My name is Shannon Alford. I am the Maryland State Liaison for the National Rifle Association Institute for Legislative Action. And uh, I'm talking about House Bill 42, which was sponsored by Delegate John Carton, who, as I'm sure everyone is aware, is running for Attorney General of the Vine State of Maryland. And what House Bill 42 would do is require that in order to complete the transfer of a regulated firearm, which in this state would mean a handgun, you would have to wait until Maryland State Police returns a not disapproved application form for the purchase of that firearm. Now, Maryland State Police has been thus far completely incapable of handling the backlog of applications for purchase of a firearm, uh, the 77R form, for months and months and months now. The last I heard, it is currently the end of January and they are working on applications from September. But there is a seven day waiting period in Maryland and following a lawsuit that was filed last summer about this very issue, the backlog of applications, uh, there was a clarification by the Maryland State Police that dealers in the state of Maryland are in fact allowed legally to release that firearm on the eighth day. There is a seven day wa mandatory waiting period. But on the eighth day, uh, the dealer can, if he or she so chooses, release that firearm on the eighth day and complete the transfer without the returned application. Um, Delegate Cardin's bill would eliminate that and thus put everyone at the mercy of the Maryland State Police in terms of how long they're going to take their sweet time in processing these, these applications and completing these background checks. Um, this is a huge problem. <laughs> a right delayed is a right denied. And there is currently no particular carrot or stick to force Maryland State Police to comply with any sort of reasonable, and in this case reasonable would seem to be within the seven day waiting period standard for how long it's going to take them to process these applications. So this is a bill that we're going to be paying very close attention to this session and hopefully defeat. Um, and that's House Bill 42 sponsored by Delegate John Carden.